We should let them slip. Did he say you? He said let the word slip. You forget about what you heard. You start operating in your own time. And that's when you get in trouble. I heard this young man for a left out. He said, there's no way I thought in my right mind that I would mess up like that. But now if you don't use God's eyes, you see 34, 26, 34, where you know, dress up to a neighbor and you think you ain't gonna look or something ain't gonna happen. You got yourself in a position where you, you, you know, ain't nobody but you and her and that, you trying to play big, no, no. You just, God's word say, abstain from any appearance of evil. Now, has anybody read in the Bible? Okay. For if the word spoken by angels were steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience receive a just recompense of reward. Now that covers a lot of territory. Remember I told you over there in that little book over there just for revelation about them angels didn't keep their first estate and they, instead of them being born a woman, they came down as a dude woman. That's why we got these giants. You know, I not good about that man today. That's all we did. You see? You have to understand, God is real. It's a relationship. And he don't play no. He took care of them man. They ain't changed now. What makes you think you're going to do the same thing and you're not going to be in change? Waiting for the last judgment. Now, why is it so important God has, This next verse covers better than any preacher can or anybody else. How shall we escape if, conditional statement, we what? Neglect carelessly just stumble along go with the flow because when i saw beyonce was what what what's come with this dress on and whatever whatever and she's in that magazine but you don't realize they have brushed them boy and it's an image i said we escape meaning you can't stumble you can't fall that's why he said, don't do that to nobody. But we got the word over there, though. No, I'll get over there. <laughs> Lord have mercy. You can fall seven times, but you can get back up. Lord have mercy. Y'all remember that song that boy wrote? Did he tell the truth? You, Donna, you remember that one? Get back up again? Oh, yes. You ain't got to wallow that now. That's what I love about God. You said, a so great a salvation which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. Why did he say first? Wait, wait, let me try to read that right now. First began. That's why he just said, I have already told you this. In the first heaven age, first earth age. You got it in you. We've covered that, shown you scriptures. Now, you have to begin to operate like that. Because otherwise, you will neglect. You understand the etymology of the word neglect? Neglect your hair and don't comb it. Well, it's a little rough when you try to put that comb through the next time, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Don't wash your body about two or three days. See what happens. You neglect it. Things happen down here. We live in a positive, negative universe. I'm sorry, but that don't mean you had to quit because God is with you. Amen. Amen. First began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed. Unto us by them that heard him. That's everybody in this room. Don't just lay it at the preacher's feet. He said, wait a minute now. Did y'all understand what that, word, what that word said? Now I'm going to say it again now. It was first spoken by the Lord and was confirmed. What are we down to do to confirm the word? Why? Because we live by it. And as we live by it, we become the light of the world. We become, that, just like that, I, I couldn't have always said that any better. Oh, smart doctor, smart as a whip. No matter what he said to that young boy, you're going to find me in the heart. Now, you and I have said it enough to know this is not your heart, that's a pump. But this is because if you get the mark of God in your forehead, where's your brain? In here. 
the word is in you. Satan, Revelation 9, he can't even touch nothing about you. God said, you better not even touch one blade of my grass down there when I kick you out of heaven. Now listen now. God also bearing them witness. Oh, I love that. Both with what? Signs and wonders and with divers miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit according to his own will. Do you understand what that verse is? It's all inclusive. I don't understand how some folks over there can read God is the Spirit. They that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. Then they'll read, no, I'm not the mistranslation. Then they say, He a Holy Ghost. It can't be. When you look up the word ghost in the strong, in, in, in the Greek, it's pneuma. I said it's pneuma, which means how we get the, the thing, pneumatic tire. Do you, get, do you run around here for you riding on ghosts? Mm -hmm. You don't do that, do you? Why we do it in here then? That's how it gets you to stumble. I got Christian folks talking about they scared of ghosts. What ghosts? Can't be no, no poor guys down here. Why? We know that the spirit that ministers you back where your spirit goes. Back to God that gave it. I, I know one thing, the old rich man said, can I go back? The Lord said, no. There's a gulf between them. You can't go down, come over here, and I can't go over there. Uh -huh. Anybody read in the Bible? Okay. So don't get hung up in this stuff and see we get kids all messed up with Harry Potter junk and all that stuff. It ain't got nothing to do with God. Yeah. I'm about to put it back. Born to the angels, has he not put in subjugation to the world to come? Wherefore we speak. Now you have to understand that. He, he's making you aware of the fact that them other angels out there trying to whisper in your ear. But he said, for unto the, the angels have he not put in subjugation the world to come. In other words, subjugation I means they, they, they can run rampant right now. But they will be judged. At a certain time, all 7,000 of them are going to drop. Bang! Just like that you read in the Bible. Let's go to the, to the, to the sixth verse now. I'm, give me, let me get to the 10th verse. We'll be through right there. But, unto, uh, but one, listen now, but one in a certain place testifies, saying, What is man? that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man, that thou visited him? Question, question. Anybody, should, that should automatically pop in your head what, what scripture that is and who said it. I will tell you Dave, but I ain't going to tell you that. Yeah, you ought to know that. In other words, this is why two witnesses make it so. Look, thou madest him. Now we're getting a nice, beautiful, oh, this is easy. No. Thou madest him a little lower than angel. Thou crownedest him with glory and honor, and didst set him over the works of thy hand. Now you begin to get the order of how God set it up. Yahweh the Father, Yahweh Savior the Son. We are what? The works of his hand. We're the slip that he made into the mold that you are. Nobody else like you. No one. No him much. But I like this, but one. <laughs> that ought to tell you enough right there. There ain't but one. No. no. Thou hast put all things, what? In subjugation under his feet. For in that he put all in subjugation under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But here's the key. Do you, are you in this camp? But we, 